Alright people, here what we're doing is we're setting up a triple integral. Three, three, three integrals for the price of one. When we're doing this, we're in space, three space. I want to integrate this function over this region. The first thing I want to do is I want to plot my region of integration. If I take a look at this, here they want to, um, the region of integration is going to be x plus y plus z is smaller than 1, where x, y, and z are bigger than 0, putting us in the first octant. So if I was going to graph this guy, mm -hmm. if I let x and y be 0, looks like z is 1. If I let x and z be 0, looks like y is 1. And similarly, when z and y are 0, x is 1. So it appears that I have a plane leaning up against the x, y axis, with this being 1 and 1 and 1. Fun. The equation of this plane, the entire plane, is x plus y plus z. T he, that's going to equal 1. Very nice. All right, so I want to go a little bit further with this. Where do I want to go? I want to set up a triple integral. In order to do that, I need to first look at my region of integration. I'm integrating over that solid, but I need to pick a direction. Here, let's set this up three different ways. Okay. Um, I'm first going to pick x, y as my region of integration. That'll be this green guy. So now when I'm integrating, I can go dx, dy, or dy, dx. Pick a direction. I don't care. Sometimes it'll be easier than others. On this one, I don't really see any problems with going with dx, dy. Sure. So first I pick my region, R, and I'm integrating over the solid, sure. So if I'm picking dx dy as my region, um, looks like I'm going to go x. So I'll put that right here. When I get around to that, I'm going to pick my rectangle to integrate in that direction, in the x direction. Okay, so now what picking a domain did for us, it allowed us to take a look at the shape that we will be going with when we're eventually integrating with y. This triangular region is going to be moving out on y. Great. So now, so now, so now, that puts z to be the first in our integration. All right, fine. So taking a look at this guy, when I'm setting up my triple integrals, and I have my region sketched like this, if I'm going to go with respect to z first, I'm looking at the height, right. So then this guy intersects that plane, I need to solve this guy for z. T he, t he. So having the equation of a plane allows us to write z as 1 minus x minus y. That's that guy. This is all over on the side. Great. <clears throat> so I see when I'm integrating with respect to z over that solid. I'm um, starting at zero and I'm going up to one minus x minus y. So when you're looking at your definitions and you're setting up these triple integrals, these guys, if you are integrating and there's a surface contained on the top and the bottom of your solid, then the top surface is here, the bottom surface is there. Here my bottom surface was the plane and my top surface is that guy. Great. Now that we've gotten z out of the equation, let's look at our limits. 
on x. Great. So now I'm taking a look at this line right here. If I was going to redraw the x, y axes, <clears throat> I have the line or the point one, one like that, and I have a line going through it. All right. So what was that? That's um, this plane, when I take z out of it, when I take z out of it, I'm gonna let z be zero, and looks like I have s, x plus y is one, and that's the equation of this line, x plus y is one. Great, now we could have found the equation of the line by looking at the two points. That would have been totally fine also. All right, far out. So, if y is coming next, then what do the limits of integration need to be in terms of? They need to be in terms of y. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna solve that guy. This is gonna get us that x is equal to one minus y. And then if I was to draw my rectangle here as I have it drawn there, <laughs> Great, my lower limit is zero. My upper limit is x equals one minus y. So that's zero and one minus y. All right, so then finally, finally, y goes from zero to one. Zero to one, that's fun. So let me go and put my function on in there. f of x, y, z is to me e to the 2x plus y. Fine. So there we set up our triple integral going dz, dx, dy. Let's try a different direction.